good afternoon to everyone so today we will start a new concept that is a operation amplifier as multi vibrator okay so the multi vibrator is again consisting of uh, two classifications one is a stable multi vibrator and a mono stable multi vibrator so before going into the in deep discussion of a uh, stable multi vibrator and mono stable multi vibrator so first we will analyze what is meant by a multi vibrator concept in our application of uh, operation amplifier okay so in previous uh, in, uh, in our prerequisites in basic electronic devices and circuits okay in our pulse and digital circuits we already analyzed the behavior of multi vibrators analyzed the behavior of multi vibrators with the help of uh, field effect, uh, effects transistors and bjts bipolar junction transistors field effect transistors and all so in this concept of uh, non linear application to uh, operational amplifier we are analyzing the multi vibrator with the application of operational amplifier okay so two types of uh, multi vibrators in our application of op amp one is a stable multi vibrator and second one is a mono stable multi vibrator okay so in this is nothing but an exact uh, application to or extension to our uh, schematic trigger which we discussed in previous classes so in last in previous classes we discussed or we analyzed about uh, schematic trigger okay schematic trigger is one of the classification or concept uh, evolved with respect to the application of comparator okay so there is an another application also there zero crossing deductor but uh, what is the discussion with schematic trigger means here in the concept of schematic trigger what are the drawbacks occurred in the zero crossing detector okay the main drawbacks occurred in zero crossing detector is uh, input noise of the zero crossing detector is high and it is not uh, involved in applications of low power applications okay so uh, the schematic trigger is updated to the uh, updated with respect to high noise immunity system it has application to very low frequency signals okay it can operate at very low frequency signals that means whatever the drawbacks here we got with the zero crossing detector that will that can be eliminated with respect to this particular schematic trigger so we classified about two types of schematic triggers one is uh, depending upon the operating supply inverting schematic trigger this is inverting schematic trigger with positive feedback okay a positive feedback is connected with respect to non inverting terminal uh, sorry uh, in uh, in uh, if positive feedback is connected here with respect to the inverting terminal and uh, output voltage so this is about the discussion we got in previous classes okay so why i again uh, recall the knowledge of a schematic trigger means the, if you see the circuit of this particular stable multi vibrator first classification in our stable multi vibrator if you see the operation of this particular stable multi vibrator this is almost similar to this particular this uh, schematic trigger inverting type schematic trigger or uh, non inverting type schematic trigger okay here we have a concept of positive feedback see here we have positive feedback positive feedback connected to the non inverting terminal and or and also there is an application of negative feedback also here see there is a negative feedback resistance with respect to capacitor c that means here in the concept of multi vibrator in the application of operational amplifier in a stable multi vibrator concept we don't use any input supply okay we don't use any external input supply we will take the input supply with respect to the negative feedback and next that uh, that means output v not is absorbed with respect to the negative feedback resistor and next that is fed with respect to capacitor which acts as an input supply which is connected to the inverting inverting terminal or negative terminal of the particular operation amplifier that means there is no concept of connecting external supply no concept of connecting external supply we are uh, observing the input supply from the output of the operational amplifier itself okay so this is a very peculiar concept very interesting concept uh, stable multi vibrator so if we go in depth before going into in depth we will analyze what is meant by a multi vibrator what is meant by multi vibrator means so the objective of multi vibrator or the idea of multi vibrator is very much similar with respect to the previous parameters a multi vibrator can be operated with respect to uh, operational amplifier a multi vibrator can be operated with respect to fet or a bjt okay so this multi vibrator is nothing but an important regenerative circuit that's more that is mostly com most commonly used in timing applications okay that means it is it is a type of regenerative circuit regenerative circuit in the sense the concept of providing a positive feedback see in the circuit of a stable multi vibrator we can clearly see here we can clearly see here the concept of providing a particular positive feedback positive feedback okay this is nothing but a regenerative circuit 
okay that means regenerative circuit in the sense the voltage at this particular feedback aids with adds with respect to the output voltage okay the concept of positive feedback is that okay concept of positive feedback is positive feedback will aid with respect to the output voltage that means it, that is an add on feature add on voltage is added to the output voltage of the operational amplifier in the terms of positive feedback okay to analyze the output voltage from v saturation to negative uh, negative voltage saturation for high voltage to low voltage that means this particular stable multi vibrator okay or it is also known as free running multi vibrator or regenerative multi vibrator it is having two see it's having two quasi stable states it is having two quasi stable states so what is meant by quasi quasi stable state means a quasi stable state is represented as an temporarily stable state okay quasi stable the term quasi stable in the sense the term quasi stable in the sense temporarily stable condition okay that means the circuit is triggered to its state before running into its normal stable state that means this particular a uh, multi vibrator stable multi stable multi vibrator is operated in quasi stable state that means the center circuit the center circuit is triggered to the stable state before returning into its normal state that means both the states both the operating conditions plus v set condition minus v set v set condition are said to be stable multi uh, are said to be stable are said to be stable at this condition of operation okay that means both the conditions at this circuit okay that either it may be high condition that is positive v saturation or it may be low condition or minus v saturation are said to be stable before running into its normal state that means both are both states are said to be a stable multi uh, both the states are said to be a, st a stable multi vibrator or quasi stable so okay we can use the uh, transistors diodes in this particular uh, concept of a multi vibrator okay this particular multi vibrator is an extension of a schematic trigger okay that means the reference pulses are the reference pulses of the schematic trigger that means upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage are uh, observed from the positive feedback terminals that is r1 and r2 so similarly here also the input voltage is absorbed uh, from the output through the resistance of the power negative feedback and through the capacitor okay that means here in this particular multi vibrator our concept of uh, a stable multi vibrator we don't provide external input supply okay we don't provide external input supply we don't provide supply to the negative terminal or we don't provide the supply to the positive terminal okay but the schematic trigger is given with respect to the input supply okay what how can we give the input supply without connecting an input supply to the positive terminal and negative terminal of the negative terminal of the operational amplifier for means okay how can we connect means here we are designing an rc circuit see this is the rc circuit a series rc circuit is connected in our design okay with the help of this particular series rc circuit we can provide an external uh, we can provide an ex an in external sinusoidal input okay this rc circuit output is taken as an input to this particular inverting terminal okay this rc, RC circuit this and series rc circuit output is taken as an input to this particular terminal okay so if we see the output waveform output waveform is similar to this particular schematic trigger output waveform is particularly uh, uh, same as schematic trigger so here we have two classifications of multi vibrators one is a stable multi vibrator and second one is mono stable multi vibrator so in this class we will analyze the behavior of uh, a stable multi vibrator using operational amplifier with an internal supply of rc circuit how does that happen how does that happen okay so applications application of this particular stable multi vibrator is so this stable multi vibrator is a free running multi vibrator free running multi vibrator well free running multi vibrator in the sense so the output is a square wave okay that means free running multi vibrator in the sense the stable multi vibrator is an oscillator okay particularly like frequency oscillator particularly like frequency oscillator that's why that is a free running multi vibrator okay input where uh, input waveform is varying here 
in this particular uh, circuit input waveform is varying but we will get a constant output waveform in the form of a square wave in the form of a square wave uh, in the form of a square wave at this time at the time when capacitor is charging and discharging okay with we are not providing any external signal okay we are not giving any external signal as an input to the terminals negative terminal or positive terminal this rc circuit which is connected with respect to output of this particular operational amplifier will act like an will act like an input sub input input circuit and it will produce the input circuit internally to the operational amplifier operational amplifier okay so there is no external circuit circuit external signal required okay the output is charged from plus v saturation to minus v saturation see the output is a square wave pulse okay that means multi vibrator a stable multi vibrator is a square wave pulse generator similar to our schematic trigger schematic trigger the output changes uh, output is changing from plus v saturation to minus v saturation okay there is a change in the output happens due to change in the input that means the capacitor the capacitor is charging and discharging here that's why there is a change in output with respect to uh, there, this is the input right see this is the capacitor charging and discharging v sub c this is the capacitor charging and discharging waveform with respect to this particular capacitor charging discharging the output voltage of plus v sat or minus v sat will emerge okay so this particular duration of this particular time period of uh, output voltage depending upon the components which we used in this particular uh, internal circuit okay internal circuit that means the output voltage v output is oscillating in between positive high signal with respect to negative high signal or positive high that is plus v set and negative high that is minus v set okay so if we analyze the circuit okay i analyzed the circuit in three mannerism one is when the output voltage is at uh, positive saturation and capacitor charges towards uh, upper threshold voltage and the second uh, analysis is a uh, output voltage is with respect to the low state signal that is output voltage is with respect to minus v set when the capacitor is charging with respect to lower threshold voltage okay so the circuit entire circuit is analyzed with respect to two parameters i haven't changed any internal connection of the circuit in the analysis i analyzed the circuit and i analyzed the circuit very carefully here see very carefully so circuit is similar to this particular circuit is similar to inter inverting schematic trigger okay we are eliminating the input supply voltages and replacing with an rc circuit rc series circuit okay the output path is uh, output voltage is taken with respect to the rc series circuit and it is given as an input okay rc circuit is connected to the output terminal of the operation amplifier to the input terminal of the operation amplifier okay the capacitor the capacitor can apply the supply voltage from the output of the circuit okay the output is supplied as input through the resistance rf c through the resistance rf c this this is the direction of current this is the direction of current see current this is the direction of current okay the output voltage will change with respect to the behavior of dis discharge of the capacitor that means the charging and discharging of the capacitor is applied as an input to this particular inverting terminal of the operational amplifier due to this particular charging and discharging the state of operational amplifier or the state of the output of the operational amplifier varies from positive saturation to negative saturation and the value is go on charging and the value is go on charging okay so the output of the operational amplifier is plus v saturation plus v saturation so some magnitude of voltage is applied through the particular capacitor of voltage through resistor rf okay through the resistor rf what will happen means at that condition at that condition in our stable multi vibrator operation okay current i is taken as an uh, uh, is taken with respect to r suffix f current i is taken as with respect to r suffix f okay so when the power is turned on when the power is turned on with respect to the current taken from the r suffix f and it is next flowing through the capacitor v suffix c okay 
V out automatically swings from positive V saturation to negative V saturation C. V out automatically swings from positive V saturation to negative V saturation. Okay, since there is only stable condition exist are allowed with respect to the skimmy trigger. In the concept of skimmy trigger, okay, assumes that in if at the beginning of the analysis a positive saturation voltage exists with respect to the circuit. That means the circuit is charged with respect to the output voltage of plus V set, plus V set through the positive feedback of the operation amplifier. Through the positive feedback of the operation amplifier. The circuit is charged with respect to plus V set, okay, by the resistor R suffix F, okay, with the help of the resistor R suffix F to the inverting input, to the negative inverting input, to the negative inverting input, a current is started flowing through the resistor R suffix F, okay, through the resistor R suffix F. As long as the current is flowing through the resistor, a voltage is started charging at this particular capacitor. V sub X is the voltage charge with respect to the capacitor. This V sub X C is less than upper threshold voltage C in the waveform. Okay, capacitor is charging with respect to capacitor is charging with respect to analysis that is capacitor is charging with respect to analysis that is V sub X C which is flowing towards plus V set plus V set. Okay, this plus V set this dotted line. This upper dotted line is nothing but upper threshold value, and this value is nothing but lower threshold value. These two are acts like our uh, reference voltages. Okay, so this capacitor charging value is less than upper threshold value. That's why here we have a uh, here we have a output voltage of plus V set. Okay, as soon as the capacitor charges and to a value slightly greater than upper threshold value, see very carefully here. Concentrate here. Concentrate here. Capacitor value V C charges slightly greater than the upper threshold value. Upper threshold value. The negative input goes to the positive with respect to the positive input. That means the switches in the output voltage from plus V saturation to minus V saturation is going to happen. That means after there is a slight increasing of the capacitor charged voltage. That means at that condition, at that condition, output voltage peak is dropped with respect to positive saturation to negative saturation. Negative saturation. Okay. So that means here the output voltage is dropped to minus V saturation with the with the negative with respect to ground. That means as V out switches to minus V saturation, capacitor starts discharging through the resistance. R suffix F. Capacitor starts discharging with respect to R suffix F through the resistor. The capacitor will start discharging. Okay, the current starts discharging with respect to the capacitor. See here, the current I I am showing here very carefully. This is the this is the direction of current. It is starts discharging through the resistor. Current I minus is starts discharging through the resistor towards zero volts. And reaches towards lower threshold value. See, it is discharging from upper threshold value to lower threshold value, and it is reaching towards and it's it is touching towards a lower threshold value. That means at this condition, VC becoming VC voltage across the capacitor becomes slight more negative than the feedback voltage of lower threshold value. Then the output voltage is V out. Output voltage is V out. At that condition, whenever the capacitor voltage just touched with respect to the lower threshold value, the output voltage is increased with respect to from output voltage increases from minus V saturation to plus V saturation. Plus V saturation. As a result, as a result, in this particular uh, figure, we can see that okay, capacitor is at the instant of lower threshold value. The capacitor discharged with respect to the lower threshold value to Lower threshold value and it is again recharged. See, and it is again recharging. See, it is again rising after crossing the lower threshold value. It is again rising, and it is recharging towards upper threshold value. Okay, and this process is repeating. Okay, once the initial cycle is completed, 
the waveforms will become periodic the waveforms will become periodic and again the capacitor will charge and it will reach and it will touch uh, reach towards the upper threshold value already we have a condition of plus v set and after the capacitor if the capacitor slightly increased after touching the upper threshold value the output voltage will drop with respect to minus v saturation and again the capacitor will starts dissipating or discharging with respect to the dissipating or discharging with respect to the resistance r suffix f r suffix f okay so here the behavior of uh, currents so here the behavior of currents is analyzed or explained with respect to two figures so see behavior of currents when the capacitor is charging when the capacitor is charging current is flowing through the resistance and it is flowing through the capacitor see current is flow current is absorbed from the output terminal and it is charging through the rheostat resistance feedback resistance r suffix f and it is next passed through voltage v suffix c okay so after the capacitor charged and output voltage uh, c when the capacitor v not is plus v saturation and charges towards upper threshold values this is the behavior of current so after the capacitor voltage reached with respect to a slight millivolts greater than upper threshold value okay the output voltage is dropped with respect to minus v saturation at that condition what happened the resistor is discharging okay the current across the capacitor is discharging voltage again across the capacitor is discharging here see okay the voltage is now minus v set and it is a uh, capacitor is charging towards lower threshold value that means here the capacitor is discharging from upper threshold value to lower threshold value lower threshold value so this is the analysis this is the analysis of circuit that means at an instant of time this is the analysis of the circuit that means at an instant of time the output voltage is taken as input with respect to rc rc circuit and the capacitor is charged okay and it is providing an input voltage to the in inverting terminal this inverting terminal of the operational amplifier and the later what it is happening and later it is discharging at the second instant after it is discharging so entire the output the outcome here is a square wave pulse okay so similar to the schema trigger a stable multi vibrator is generating a square wave pulse a square wave pulse even it is a quasi stable condition even the uh, even it is a quasi stable condition both the uh, states both the output conditions are not in a complete stable state it is just regaining towards the stable condition it is regaining towards the stable condition but what actually happens means the behavior output behavior of the stable multi vibrator is similar to the schema trigger and it is a square wave generator square wave generator what is the main difference between square wave uh, schema trigger and stable multi vibrator means in schema trigger we have an input supply two types invert we have provided an inverting input supply and we provided an non inverting input supply but here in the concept of a stable multi vibrator we haven't provided any input supply we haven't provided any input supply the input supply is uh, connected with respect to the internal circuit that is rc power pair there is no external connection of input supply okay so first can at the first condition output voltage is charged with respect to plus v saturation okay at that condition of plus v saturation the capacitor is charged and it is next increased up to upper threshold value okay and later the my, uh, when the capacitor charged voltage is slightly slight amount of millivolts is increased greater than upper threshold value at that condition the capacitor is discharged capacitor is discharged through the feedback resistance and next it is reached with respect to lower threshold value after the discharging voltage again reached the lower threshold value again after a slight increasing of lower threshold value with respect to capacitor charged voltage again the capacitor is charged uh, with capacitor is started with respect to increased in charging with respect to rc pole pair and capacitor is charged from lower threshold value to upper threshold value and again capacitor is discharged from upper threshold value to lower threshold value so th this is a continuous process this is a continuous process so at this state we analyzed the output waveform okay v output is equal to plus v saturation capacitor charged with respect to upper threshold value 
and V output is equal to minus V saturation, the capacitor charged with respect to lower threshold value. And analyzing these two conditions, we can clearly observe a behavior of upper threshold voltage and behavior of lower threshold voltage with respect to positive saturation voltage and negative saturation voltage. They're existing, they're building a peculiar output voltage of square wave dimension. Okay. So how can we analyze this output waveform is the output waveform can be analyzed with respect to these two references pulses that is upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage by calculating the time period. Okay, if we calculate this particular time period. Okay, if we calculate the time period, we can analyze the frequency. Okay, frequency is nothing but the reciprocal of uh, time period f is equal to one by t. Okay, so if we calculate this particular time period of this particular square pulse then we can analyze the frequency that can be done with the help of these two reference pulses one is upper threshold value and lower threshold value okay so this is the analysis uh, we analyzed with respect to the term when the circuit is on output voltage is saturated with respect to minus v saturation and uh, uh, plus v saturation and minus v saturation the behavior of uh, capacitance voltage with respect to upper threshold voltage and the behavior of a uh, capacitance voltage with respect to lower threshold voltage so all theoretical analysis which we got done with respect to the output waveforms are analyzed here in the theory manner okay so in order to analyze the behavior of time period in our square wave pulse generator first we have to analyze the behavior of uh, upper threshold voltages and lower threshold voltages okay so in previous uh, uh, description of schema trigger we calculated that uh, input voltage is equal to v input voltage is equal to v naught into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 in the in the place of input voltage we place the upper threshold voltage and the lower threshold voltage in the place of uh, in the place of uh, output voltage we calculated uh, we substituted minus v saturation and uh, plus v saturation so similar to the particular uh, discussion okay we are we are using the same relations of upper threshold voltage and the lower threshold voltage as we used in schema trigger okay as we used in schema trigger right upper threshold voltage is equal to plus v set into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 where output voltage v naught is expressed with respect to v saturation voltage and the feedback voltage is uh, observed with respect to upper threshold voltage v ot and similarly output voltage is experienced with respect to minus v saturation here and the input voltage is experienced with respect to feedback voltage that is a uh, lower threshold voltage so with the help of the potential divider rule that is uh, two two resistance we have in positive feedback r1 and r2c here in feedback here we have two resistances those two resistances r1 and r2 acts like a potential div uh, divider so with the help of the voltage divider rule we have placed r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay what i am doing is i am taking that uh, amplification constant beta i am taking here the operational amplifier amplification constant beta that is equal to r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay and i am rewriting the expression just to simplify the parameter and here the expression is again rewritten with respect to lower threshold value expression is uh, rewritten with respect to lower threshold value is equal to minus beta into v saturation okay where uh, beta is nothing but r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so if we calculate the time period so this is the this is our outcome this this is the parameter we have to find out through our analysis okay so that is our object to our outcome we, which we have to find out the analysis so here what i am doing means so i am using the transient response okay i am using the transient response of a particular thing okay what i am doing means i am analyzing the expression of time period i am analyzing the i am analyzing the behavior of time period by calculating with respect to the transient response transient response that means here the external waveforms are uh, not alternating those are square, square waveforms okay but the internal capacitor is uh, charging and discharging at a particular time period okay so here we are calculating the frequency calculating the frequency to find the particular time period we know the value of frequencies one is f is equal to 1 by t so here at this const at this particular aspect of analysis the multi vibrator okay a stable multi vibrator application is used as a frequency oscillator okay it will produce a different frequencies or desired frequency 
okay in order to operate the stable multi vibrator as a frequency oscillator to produce difference frequencies or desired frequencies we need to analyze the transient response of a series rc network which is analyzed with respect to v sub c of t is equal to v max plus of initial voltage minus maximum voltage into e power minus t by rc okay e minus e power minus t by rc whereas uh, vc vc of t is nothing but uh, instant voltage instantaneous voltage across capacitor behavior of instantaneous voltage across capacitor and v initial is nothing but initial voltage present in the circuit okay maximum voltage v maximum is nothing but maximum voltage observed with respect to the capacitor voltage charging or uh, output voltage okay so let us consider the capacitor is uh, charged from lower threshold value to upper threshold voltage see that's what happened here okay the capacitor is uh, charged from lower threshold voltage to upper threshold voltage okay that means the initial voltage is lower threshold voltage the capacitor initial voltage is a lower threshold voltage lower threshold voltage is vl so vlt is nothing but lower threshold voltage that is our initial voltage and the vc of t is nothing but capacitor charged voltage capacitor charged voltage that is analyzed with respect to instantaneous voltage and the plus v saturation is nothing but the maximum value and uh, small t is equal to t1 okay time period when the capacitor reaches with respect to from lower threshold voltage to upper threshold voltage okay so time period is represented uh, small t is nothing but time period that is represented as t1 time required from the voltage reaches from lower threshold value to upper threshold value okay so if we analyze the expression here if we analyze the expression here see so initial time period is vut that is equal to i am rewriting the expression here rewriting the expressions here Uh, vc of t in the place of vc of t i am uh, vc of t capacitor charged voltage is vu of t that is upper threshold voltage is the capacitor charged voltage capacitor is charging from lower threshold voltage to upper threshold voltage that means at upper threshold voltage the capacitor is charged that's why i represented that is vut that is equal to maximum voltage is represented as plus v saturation okay one maximum voltage so is represented as plus v saturation and other maximum voltage is represented as a minus v saturation okay see very carefully here and the uh, initial voltage of capacitor charging is vlt capacitor initial voltage charging is vlt capacitor charged voltage value is vu and i substituted this in this expression with the particular values of analysis okay i am i am taking the upper threshold voltages and uh, maximum values to lh side and lower threshold values to rh side okay and i am equating the expression this expression is equated by analyzing the expressions by taking the upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage at to a ratio okay and keeping the logarithmic value aside okay keeping the logarithmic value of uh, time response with respect to series rc circuit aside okay so if we analyze further by applying the logarithmic on both sides to uh, take this uh, remove this exponential logarithmic of exponential of t minus t1 divided by rc will get cancelled okay and uh, exponential logarithm will get cancelled and this thing will be remained with respect to the logarithmic of upper threshold voltage minus voltage saturation by lower threshold minus voltage saturation okay what we will do means okay in order to eliminate this particular negative sign rhs uh, numerator with respect to denominator is switched okay denominator is switched with respect to numerator and numerator is switched with respect to denominator and this negative sign is eliminated so okay what is the actual time t1 the capacitor is charged that is equal to rc at a through the particular rc circuit logarithmic of lower threshold voltage minus saturation divided by upper threshold voltage minus saturation substitute the value of uh, lower threshold voltage with respect to minus beta v set and upper threshold voltage with respect to plus uh, beta v set with respect to our uh, analysis which which we explained here at the initial condition substitute the value of lower threshold voltage with respect to minus beta v set and uh, upper threshold voltage with respect to beta v set okay so actual time period t1 is equal to rc into ln of beta v set minus beta v saturation minus v saturation divided by beta v saturation to v saturation if we simplify further 
that is t1 is equal to r c into ln of logarithmic value of 1 plus beta by 1 plus beta okay that means what is t1 means t1 is nothing but time taken by the capacitor to charge from lower threshold value to up higher threshold value or upper threshold value that means at the same time the t1 is the time required to charge from lower threshold value to upper threshold value again the same time is uh, required for the capacitor to discharge that means total time period is t1 plus t1 that is 2t1 2t1 okay so that means total time period of a capacitor charging and discharging will be explained with respect to capital t is equal to 2 into rc into ln of 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta at a particular frequency f is equal to 1 by t f is equal to 1 by t so that means here we calculated the frequent time period and from the time period frequency will be calculated frequency will be calculated so this is the time period analysis the time period analysis here okay the time period analysis here is calculated from the particular waveform analysis from the particular waveform analysis the capacitor is charged from lower threshold value to upper threshold value and again it is discharged from upper threshold value to lower threshold value here the time period is calculated at this instant for this peak for this peak from lower threshold value to upper threshold value from upper threshold value to lower threshold value okay at this particular time at this particular instant at this particular instant the capacitor time period a uh, capacitor charging and discharging time period is calculated and with the help of that particular time period with the help of that particular time period the waveform analysis and the frequency analysis are observed okay so what we discussed means here okay we mentioned about the behavior of a multi vibrator in the application of operational amplifier a multi vibrator is nothing but a square wave generator by using operational amplifier as an input okay we analyze, we, are, we are we are our aspect our object is to analyze two type of applications one is a stable multi vibrator and second one is a mono stable multi vibrator so in our application in our instant of our application so what we did means in the concept of uh, sorry in the concept of a stable multi vibrator we analyzed the multi vibrator with no external signal okay with no external signal as an in input we have taken the input from the output voltage with the help of an rc circuit series rc circuit okay that means the output of output of the operation amplifier is observed with respect to series rc circuit and it is next given as an input with respect to next given as an input with respect to the non inverting terminal non inverting terminal and it is having the positive feedback with respect to r1 and r2 okay this positive feedback will aids the voltage it adds the voltage with respect to the output of the operational amplifier okay so this is circuit is quite similar to our schematic trigger inverting schematic trigger exactly same with respect to the inverting schematic trigger but what is actual difference means in schematic trigger we have an input supply with respect to the inverting terminal okay but here we don't have any input supply no external supply is taken as an input here the input is directly not absorbed from the external supply okay it is taken as a, from the internal supply of rc circuit with the help of series rc circuit which is absorbed from the output voltage okay the output waveforms are analyzed with respect to the capacitor charging and discharging okay so at the initial stage the capacitor is charged from 0 volts to upper threshold well upper threshold voltage at that condition the output voltage is v saturation after the capacitor charged in certain millivolts of the upper threshold value the output voltage dropped to minus v saturation and after this condition happened the capacitor discharged through the resistor see in this particular circuit the capacitor is charged with respect discharged through the resistor i minus current is discharged through the resistor and it is dropped from the upper threshold value to lower threshold value capacitor discharged here in this manner okay after the discharged value voltage of capacitor are touched with respect to or meted met with respect to the lower threshold value again okay the capacitor discharged from lower threshold value towards upper threshold value again the this particular uh, v suffix c voltage across the capacitor just came in contact with respect to the upper threshold value upper threshold value and again 
a slight amount of millivolts amount of current is a millivolts amount of voltage crossed the upper threshold value and again the capacitor will starts discharging discharging so this will happen for a period of time this will happen for a period of time so we analyzed the circuits with respect to the behavior of output voltages at high state that is plus v sat when capacitor is charging okay and also the output voltage of minus v sat when capacitor is discharging okay that means the capacitor is charged from lower threshold value to upper threshold value and the capacitor is discharged from upper threshold value to lower threshold value so with this help of a waveform analysis we calculated the time period we calculated the time period that is capital t is equal to logarithmic two times of rc into ln of 1 plus beta by 1 minus beta with the help of this we can calculate the well behavior of frequency okay how how we derived the time period means we, we just analyzed the transient response of a rc circuit transient response of rc circuit and with the help of upper threshold value and lower threshold value we analyzed the behavior of time period at two instants at charging and as well as at discharging that's why it is total time period capital t is equal to 2t1 in next class uh, we will discuss about monostable multi vibrator so the doubt is uh, someone posted that is what is quasi state quasi state in the sense it's a temporary stable condition okay mostly in monostable circuit in second application of a uh, multi vibrator in monostable circuit is a uh, regard to this particular stable condition before running into the normal state that means before achieving the normal stable condition there is a time period where the multi vibrator will operate that is called quasi stable state that means at the quasi stable state also the vibra multi vibrator is stable okay but it is not completely stable or it is not completely normally stable at both states the behavior of multi vibrator is stable but here in the quasi state the multi vibrator not reached to its complete stable condition complete normal stable condition that's why it is called as quasi state which is someone post the second doubt so what is the uh, can we use an uh, other devices for uh, construction of multi vibrator yes we can use transistors we can use diodes for construction of multi vibrators in uh, our prerequisite knowledge of uh, electronic devices and circuits in our prerequisite prerequisite knowledge of uh, pdc pulse and uh, digital circuits we analyzed the behavior of multi vibrator we analyzed the behavior of multi vibrator with the help of uh, transistors diodes okay that depends upon the cost of the multi vibrator operation okay right someone posted what is the application of uh, multi vibrator okay multi vibrator can be applied uh, application is mostly like a square wave generator okay we will discuss the complete applications after uh, discussing of mono stable multi vibrator also mostly at the instant of uh, at the instant of square wave generator we can use uh, this particular uh, application a stable multi vibrator 